I'm going to end with this. This is from Chris, Fairfax County. Fuck Reagan. No, not the dead former president, but rather this godforsaken shithole of an airport just outside of D.C. <laughs> At 3 p.m. on Tuesday afternoon, one of the department heads of my company is running around the building like a headless chicken and begging for a volunteer to fly to a client's office in Dayton, Ohio. The work seemed interesting, so I said, why not? I should have seen the shit pie being thrown in my direction because 10 minutes after I booked my 10 p.m. flight, I received an email saying the flight is delayed until 11.30. For those that don't know, the heroic patriots of the Reagan National TSA start closing up shop at 9 p.m., so you're fucked if you show up any later. I considered opting out of the normal imaging scan in hopes that ball-fondling search could waste some of the two and a half hours that I had before departure. <laughs> An hour later, I've eaten dinner and walked through the only open store. Only one and a half hours left! Wait, what's this? Hail, lightning, thunder, and a text message from American Airlines. My flight's been delayed another 30 minutes. Wonderful. This process continues about every half hour until my departure is delayed until 2.20 a.m. Finally, I see that the inbound flight is actually in the air. Maybe the departure time is finally accurate. At 12.45, with an airport full of pissed off passengers, the good folks at American Airlines make an announcement they are canceling all remaining flights because airport personnel need to go home. What the actual fuck? If there was a specific time that the airport needed to shut down, then why did you continue to reschedule departures? Are there not on-call personnel, whatever? I'm going home and going to bed. Where's my bag, I asked the airline rep. Oh, they'll be transferred to baggage claims, she says. As I walk to baggage claim, I get an alert on my phone that American Airlines has automatically rebooked me on the same flight the following day. Oh, well, that ain't gonna happen. As I arrive at baggage claim, I see that it can only be described as a graveyard of luggage. There are piles everywhere, and there's a massive line at the baggage claim office. I look everywhere for my bag. Nothing! They make an announcement. If you've been rebooked, either manually or, automat or automatically, your bag will be transferred to your new flight. <laughs> so, I presume they want people to take their smelly, tired asses to a hotel, not change their clothes, not brush their teeth until at least the next day. For the next two hours, I stand in a line to talk to one of the two American Airlines employees to reclaim a bag that never left the fucking terminal! When I was finally next to being helped, the lady in front of me apparently forgot how to discern the English language. The representative told her that her bag was still in Dallas, but it would arrive and be delivered to her hotel tomorrow. That was all the information she had at this time. But not to be deterred, the lady found no less than 25 ways to ask variations of, why is it not here? What time will it be delivered? Why did this other representative tell me it would be here. I'm left standing there thinking of George Carlin. I'm trying to think of something graceful and diplomatic to say, to bring the conversation to a close, but all I can think of is, shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> At 4 a.m., I finally get home to my apartment in Fairfax. The same manager asked me again yesterday if I would attempt the flight this morning. My answer, yeah, fuck that. I'm going to go see Lewis Black tonight, and that reminds me, I've got a rant to write. This is from Chris Simpson in Fairfax, Virginia. Thank you, Chris. Thank you all for coming out. Thank you, Barry Lynn. We'll be back here tomorrow night.